Okay, so hello there. This is our um, second video for the Science, Technology, and Society playlist. And in this video, as promised, I'm going to um, tackle about antecedents in the ancient period. Okay, so antecedents in the ancient period, okay, remember that ancient civilization paved the way for advances in our modern, um, adva in modern um, advances in science and technology. Okay, um, and we know that these advances during this ancient period allowed us, okay, to flourish by better finding ways of communication, transportation, okay, which will be the first one that we'll, talk, we'll be talking about, and self-organization and our ways of living. Okay, so what we're going to talk now, the first thing, or the first antecedent that we are going to talk about is the ancient wheel. Okay, so people from ancient civilization use animals as means of transportation okay that is wheels could be attached to carts okay and that cart will be attached to animals so this is a one and first um, antecedents in ancient world so that the ancient wheel so the which which gave us the wheels that we're using today okay um you can see that in cars in trucks and a lot more so that is a very um important a part of the ancient period so the invention of the ancient wheel is credited to the sumerians Okay, the oldest known wheel found in an archaeological excavation is from the Mesopotamia. So this is the one actually that was found who and dates to around 3500 BC. Okay, so this is the original wheel that was found um, from Mesopot Mesopotamia actually. So it has been claimed that wheels were first used by potters. Okay, the one that created creates pots. Okay, so see this 5,500 old wheel, okay, so this is actually um, a potter's wheel, not really a wheel used for, for transportation, but it was first used, this one is really used for pottery rather than transportation. Actually, the use for wheels for transportation only happened 300 years later, okay, so actually the first application of wheels is not really for transpo, but it's used for creating pots, for clay, you know, so... Um, at least we use that okay, at least, um, in our transportation. So we know that today the wheel is a very important legacy from the Mesopotamians. Okay? They are almost everywhere, and uh, I think you can vouch for that. Without wheels, we would not be having the rubber tires that we are enjoying now. And cars wouldn't have even been thought of. Of course, because a very essential part of cars are the rubber tires. And wheels is the concept behind that. Everyone would still be walking around, imagine, without tires, right? So living in huts um, because lots of construction machines would not be able to work because, well, um, there will be no wheels to, to bring them from one place to another. Okay, so again, first of our list is the ancient wheel. Okay, next up. Say bye, wheel. <laughs> okay, next up, and you know that we, I think we will all agree that this is also very important, the paper. Okay, so where the, the paper started, and, and as early as 3000 BC, the Egyptians have developed a technique for making paper. Okay, and I think you, will, you are familiar with this. Um, they use, you use the, the papyrus plant for, from that. Okay, um, partic in particular, the plant flourished in the Nile. Okay, by weaving together long strips, um, they can bind them together, and that will be create that will be um, the one that will create the thin sheets of paper. Actually, the English word for paper came from the word papyrus, and this is the the papyrus plant that that was along that is along the Nile River. Okay, so this is where the origins of paper started. Um, the Egy the Egyptians found the need to create paper due to the fact that, of course, without the paper, imagine them writing on stones, okay, ancient temples and caves. And we know that it's not easy to write uh, things on stones, on temples, and on caves. So by creating paper, um, they were able to transcribe messages and publish important documents that could be carried and transported easily compared to stones again. Uh, this was a better uh, this was better than learning how to write on potsherds, on stones, on pieces of wood, wood that which would um take them years to learn. Okay, instead of writing it on paper. So this is um one traditional paper from from Egypt that was made by made from papers. Okay, so and then after that, papers you first use include being used as a wrap 
for precious items in ancient China, religious texts in ancient Egypt, and government texts in ancient Greece. Today, we know that paper is very much important. We have a lot and more wider variety of uses for it. It is found almost everywhere, such as in your own bathroom, tissue papers, you know, on newspaper stands, of course, newspapers, and of course, in classrooms, okay, and everywhere in, in the workplace. Okay, and, and I think you would believe that, you'd believe in me when, um, when I say that paper is everywhere, okay, and it is very much essential. And it started with, with ancient Greek, ancient Egyptians, by the way. Okay, next up is a not really common term. We, we shall read this as shaduf. Okay, so the shaduf is a tool and, in, and used and invented by the ancient Egyptians still. Okay, so to irrigate land, like, irrigate land. It is a hand operated device used for lifting water. So it is a long balancing pole with a weight on one and one end and a bucket on the other. So the bucket is filled with water and easily raised, then emptied into the higher ground. Its invention introduced the idea of lifting things using counterweights. So this is one example of a shaduf. This one. So we have um, this in the other end, and we have this weights on the other end. So we have the water here. Okay. So again, this introduced the idea of lifting things using counterweights. So that's again still an entry from the ancient Egyptians. Okay. Next in our list is the Antikythera mechanism. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's Antikythera mechanism is the oldest known mechanical calculator. Actually, it is found um, from the Greek island of Antikythera. Okay, that's why it's called such. Okay, from a shipwreck. Um, the shipwreck was discovered 2,000 years later in 1900. Okay, the mechanism was recognized in the spring of 1902 as a, a geared mechanical device displaying calendars and astronomical information. So, this is actually the Antikythera mechanism from from the museum where the, of where of its origin. Okay, wherever it is now. So it's in a museum. So this is the actual Antikythera mechanism, which you can see here clearly. Okay, so the application of modern imaging methods to the surviving fragments has led to the general agreement on the basic structure of the de device here. Okay, about its solar and lunar astronomical function. So even though it's way back 2,000 years before 19... 1900, the reading of the remains of its ex extensive uh, encryptions, or shall we say um, 1900 uh, around BC, okay, BC. So the reading of the remains of its extension inscriptions has shown that it was also intended to display shifting positions of the planets in the zodiac. Okay, so we can say that this Antikythera mechanism is at quite advanced um, of its time. Okay, because it has even the planets in the zodiac, it has lunar and solar astronomical functions, even though during that time, there's no such um, strong evidence, okay, of, of such. Okay, of such. So we have this Antikythera mechanism. We also have in our list the Aeolif file. I don't know if, they pro if I, I pronounce it right, Aeolif file. So Heron, Alexandrinus, or the he or hero of Alexandria, as he was often known, was the first inventor of the steam engine. Okay, a steam engine powered uh, a steam powered device that is called Aeolifile, or the Heron's engine, or some call it the as Hero's engine. Okay, the name came from a Greek word, Aeolos, which who was the Greek god of the winds. So this is actually the Aeolifile. Okay, so what happens here is. So an aeolifile is a sphere that is positioned in such a way that it can rotate around its axis. So this is the axis here. So it will rotate. The nozzles are in opposite are opposite to each other, so it will expel steam, and both of the nozzles will generate a combined thrusts, resulting into a torque that is a rotation, causing the sphere to spin around its axis. Okay. So the rotation force speeds up and the and uh, up the sphere up to the point where the resistance from traction and air brings to brings it to a stable rotational speed and then that's where the steam engine comes in okay so again this is a very early example of a steam steam engine and um, it was heron okay or hero right, the one who who uh, invented it okay, and it, it was until about the 15th um 1500s where it was again we 
reused and then the, which was the basis for the steam engine okay that was used during those times okay so that's the end for the examples for the antecedents of the ancient period again just a wrap up we have talked about the ancient wheel we have talked about the paper from the papers we have talked about the shadow we have talked about the antikythera mechanism and also lastly the eolophile okay then these are the antecedents from the ancient period Okay, and then that's the end for this video. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you learned something from here. And again, um, just stay tuned and try to like and subscribe this video and my YouTube channel so that you'll be updated for my latest content when I will upload the uh, future ones. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. See ya!